Self-harm claims rose by 333%. Suicidal thoughts or self-harm has more than doubled since 2016. Even my teens is also where kind of everything went upside down for me. That's when I got into the cutting. Um, when I started in high school, I just made sure that they weren't deep enough to be noticed. But as I got older, my scars were so deep that I needed to go to the emergency room. I had several suicide attempts, so I had huge scars on my wrist. I was sewn up and they did a crisscross. It looked like Frankenstein. How did roll up your sleeves come about? Well, I needed help and I couldn't get it. It's helping people that really have been left out of a therapeutic option. We all suffer and some of, some of us just don't have the tools to deal with it really well. And RISE is part of that toolbox. My hope is that we can expand the network and that we can spread the word that this is out there and this is available, that this is something that is there to help you. For physicians out there, all they need to do is call me. It'll take me 15 minutes to explain to them how to do this and how to do this easily. I don't even know what I would do without treatment. I would never wear shorts again or a bikini. It's really painful. If we can start looking at mental health as a disease, then this is going to eventually evolve into something that isn't hidden in the shadows. Us helping women, it's not erasing their warrior scars. It's just saying, if it's preventing you from getting into a relationship, getting a new job, or getting past a place of pain, then we can offer this for you.